Hey guys, so your doc prescribed you Flomax to help pass your stone. You thought Flomax was for your prostate. What's the deal? Hey guys, it's Doc Caps here with Eurocoach. So you have this stone and your doctor prescribed you Flomax or Tamsulosin to help pass the stone. You go to your pharmacist and the pharmacist says, uh, Flomax, why are you taking that? That's for your prostate. And you're wondering what the heck. That's the question we're going to go over. Stay tuned and I'll give you my tips and tricks for how to pass a stone and what Flomax is all about. So unfortunately, if you're watching this video, you likely have a stone and you're wondering the best way to try and pass this thing. Well, vast majority of folks will have stones that are small enough to pass. We as urologists typically get involved when the stone's too big to pass or you're having awful pain, infection, or just having misery from this darn stone and you need a procedure. Sometimes we'll also help guide you as to how to prevent these stones going forward. So first step is what to do once you get a stone. Well, if you have a stone, you want to stay hydrated. Hydration, building a head of pressure behind that stone to help flush it out is essential. Drinking about one and a half to two liters of fluid a day while you have the stone is essential. Healthy diet. There's no data to say eating this versus that helps while you have the stone episode. Just stay healthy, eat right, and drink lots of fluids. Is there anything you can do from your activity standpoint that might help you pass this stone? Well, there's no good data to say going on a roller coaster helps, jumping on a trampoline helps. That's unfortunately not the case. But Personally, I believe staying active is important. Trying to get up, move around, stay busy, if at all possible. Lastly, there are medicines that might help. Original studies showed that Flomax or Tamsulosin, along with a steroid, increased your chances of passing this miserable stone. So we've used that routinely since that original study to help give you about an 8 to 10 percent chance increase in passing a stone. Now studies have subsequently been done that say maybe this helps maybe not but typically we feel that the Tamsulosin or Flomax doesn't do any harm and it may help. So typically we use it in addition to the other parameters that I mentioned. How do I do it? What do I recommend? Well, if you went into the ER, you had a stone, let's say that stone was pretty small, and it's in the bottom of the ureter, hydration, stay active, pain control, and flow max. I definitely think that's beneficial. I would definitely, if the stone is huge and you're miserable, can't tolerate your diet, your pain's not controlled, then we either have to admit you to the hospital or do a procedure to help get rid of that stone and eradicate it. What to watch out for? If you're throwing out, not able to tolerate your diet, if you have any signs of infection, especially fever, chills, um, just getting sick and feeling lousy, then you have to come into the emergency room and call, or call your urologist to get some guidance. So again, overall, I use Flomax. I think it's beneficial in concert with hydration, staying active, pain control. Um, hopefully your stone passes very quickly without any need for any treatment. Again, this is Doc Heps with Eurocoach. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Check out our other videos. Thanks again.